Hello everyone and welcome back once again. I hope everyone is doing fine and I hope everyone is having a very nice time with their families. Okay, today we're going to have a very new lesson, okay, in literacy of course for grade 3. So please, in 15 seconds, I want you to open your books, learners books, okay, page number 12, page number 12, please call me page number 12, and get your pencil and your notebook ready, because you are going to write down these lines in your notebook, okay, you're going to write down these lines in your notebook, so you can post the video, and then you can write down this, then you want to resume the video again. It's going to work, okay? Here we go. Today we would like to talk about uh, characters, but before talking about characters, let's know what we had last time. You know, last lesson we talked about more, you know, about settings. Generally, we describe the setting using adjectives of our own, and that's very good, okay? As we said, an adjective is a word that is used to describe a noun, okay? A noun can be a place. All right, here we go. So, today we're going to talk about characters. All of us say characters. Mm -hmm. Yes? Characters, again. Okay? Very good. Characters, okay? Characters. Characters. Okay, characters are people or animals, are people or animals who are acting in the story, okay? Which means that characters are names of people in the story or animals, okay? For example, the story of the three fat dancing cows, okay? So, Three cows here are characters in the, story, in the story. The story also of the little red hen. So hen here is a character, okay? As we say, characters are people or animals who are acting in the story. They are talking, they are doing anything in the story, so we call them characters. Is it clear for you? So a very interesting point is coming here. Take a look here, all of you, your book here. Number A here, let's try to take a look in here. Okay, here we go, let's follow. We usually want to know four things about the characters in the story. How many things? Five? No. Six? No. Yes, four! We'd like to know four things about characters in the story. The first one is what they look like. This is the first thing. Okay, are the human or animals? Are they big or small? Okay, and so on. And uh, we have the second one is what they think or say. What they think or say. This is the second point we have, okay, that we want to know about them. And what they do. What they do in the story, okay? Number four, how they feel. This is about their feelings and emotions okay that's a good point and uh, let's now move to point number one look back at the cartoon strip in the last session tell the story to talk part and remember to include information about the setting give each of the characters a name include some information about them these are the cartoon uh, strips we have here on the picture if you can take a look See them here? Okay? So try to give them names of your own from your mind. Just give them names. As we have here some characters. So these are characters. We call them characters because they are acting in the story. Like a horse, you can give it a name in the story. Any name from your mind. You can say this horse name is Tina, for example. Okay? And uh, this old lady in the story, you can give her a name. You can say her name is Dumana. Okay, this is also a name in the story, and so on. So these are characters in the story, because they have names and they are acting in the story. That's why we call them characters, okay? Number two, write a description of the main character using interesting words to make him or her come to life, okay? 
Okay, this is also a good point. So you go to describe this character, the main character. For example, let's consider you name this one, you name him uh, Tina, for example. You name him Tina. Then you go to describe Tina by using some adjectives. This adjective should be interesting. Okay, uh, that's the point. So this is this is uh, not the main concern, but the one is coming here is the main concern. Okay, so create another character. Create another character. Now you can make characters of your own from your mind, and this is easy. Okay, we have take a look at the characters here. We have this one. Number one, number A, B, and C. Okay. The first one is Juan. This is the name Juan. Second one is Asib, and the last one is Liang. These are the names. Okay. Liang. These are the names of characters in the story. Just examples of characters. Okay. Now let's try to know what you can do about them. Look at the three illustrations. Illustrations mean like these characters. Examples means examples of characters. Okay, who would you most like to be friend with? Who do you like to be friend with in this story here? Juan? Yes, some of you say Juan. Ah, SP. All right, that's nice. Fantastic. Liang? Oh, good. Yes, these are the names of characters. So that's good. Let's move on here a little bit. Okay, they say think of an adjective to describe each of the three characters. Remember, we say adjective is describing word. We use adjectives to describe uh, the, the nouns, the nouns here, people, so we can describe them. For example, um, we can say uh, a tiny girl, that is an adjective, wearing a blue, um, a blue, uh, could be like uh, blues, okay, and so on. So this is the point here. So by using these are adjectives. So whatever word you used to describe something with is an adjective, of course, okay? And uh, number three, let's, let's go on here, talking about number three, All right? Point number three, read the character portrait of Liang, okay? Portrait means information or something about someone or somebody. Now, this this portrait is about Liang. This, these are the pictures. Now, where is Liang in the picture here? Okay, this is Liang. Not of course. If this is Liang, no, this is Juan. Yes, here is Liang. Okay. Then we're going to have some portrait. It means like information about him, what he likes, what he dislikes, and so on. Is it clear? Okay. Let's go ahead now. Let's try to read this. Read the character portrait of Liang. Do you think the statements, these statements, are true or false? We would know then. Is it true or false? Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to read out for you, then we're going to do the questions here, okay? Listen carefully. Put your fingers in the first line, all of you in the box here. Good, okay? Liang hangs out in the mall with his friends. Means that Liang, Liang goes out sometimes with his friends, okay? He and his friends usually wear air blocks. Air blocks. These are air blocks. Now Mr. Brown has Air blocks. Okay? These are air blocks. So Juan is friend, uh, sorry, Liang and his friends sometimes wear this in their heads, okay? And uh, so they have to SMS each other if they want to talk. It means they have to send the messages to each other, okay? Sometimes Liang texts back, sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he writes down for you an answer or for his friends and sometimes he doesn't write down anything okay Liang is interested in computers okay he is interested in computers all right he enjoys flicking through websites finding out about the latest improvements and new releases which means he likes to know more things about uh, computers generally the new things about computers okay he and his friends mostly communicate through SM and online. They talk together sometimes in a way that writing messages, okay? Online messages like you have Facebook, WhatsApp, and so on. When, or they can use SIM, this is like writing message, okay? From the phone and send to some person, okay? When they visit the mall, when they go to the mall, they generally saunter over to 
a computer shop to examine the computers on display. They like to go to the computer area or section, then they love to see the things there, how the computer, the computers work and so on. Okay, now we have read the article about or the portrait about Leanne. It's time to check out are these statements true or false? Here we go. Number one, Leanne and his friends have fun together. Yes, true. Very good. It's true. Yes. Leanne talks a lot. No, false. This is false. He doesn't talk a lot in the story. Okay. Leanne knows a lot about computers. True. Yes, that's true. He knows lots of things about computer. Okay. Leanne is excited about visiting the computer shop. This is definitely true. Of course, he likes to go there. Okay. And the last one, Leanne likes playing football. This is also not true. He doesn't like to play football. It's not even mentioned here. Things about football. Okay. He likes computers generally. Okay. That's the point. By now, we have come to the end of our lesson. But before that, there's something here. Just do it in your notebook. Okay. Here, this said, include in your notebook, write a character portrait of either Juan or Asifi. What Juan Asifi likes doing the uh, king of person, the kind, sorry, the kind of person he or she is. And that's it. Okay. So you're going through it just like the same way, the same way as this one. Okay. By now, we finish our lesson. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Goodbye. Have a beautiful time.